Hello students, this is question number 6 of paper 2, physics 2021 J advanced. So let's see what the question says. So in this question there are two loops which are carrying current in opposite sense. The smaller one is carrying current in the anti-clockwise sense and the larger one is carrying current in the clockwise sense. And we've been told that I2 is more than 2I1. Now I'll begin by discussing the magnetic field at the center of the two loops. So this would be written as a mu naught i1 by 2 pi r or rather 2 r only uh, minus mu naught i2 by 2 times of 2 r okay now since i2 is more than 2 times of i1 okay like if i pull out mu naught by 2 r as the common quantity we get i1 minus i2 by 2 and since it is given that i2 is more than two times the value of i1 then it means that we are going to get a negative number here like if we put the values here we are going to get a negative number okay which basically means that uh, the field of outer loop is going to dominate and hence the magnetic field at center will be in the inward direction okay so that is one thing that we have concluded now uh, to solve this question like we have understood the situation now let's see what the option says and then we can figure out which of those are correct and which ones are incorrect so a option says that uh, b is perpendicular to x y plane at all points in the plane so that seems correct because uh, if a plane carries a circular current carrying loop then in this plane field lines are either coming in or go uh, they are going out for example, in this particular scenario for an anti-clockwise loop, we will have dots within this loop and uh, we will have crosses outside this loop. So, uh, as far as this plane is concerned, the magnetic field lines are either coming out of it or they are going into it. So, this point and if we, even if we place two concentric loops here, the, the fact is not going to change. So, A option remains the correct one. Now, B option says it depends only on the radial distance, which also seems correct because I can clearly see the radial symmetry here like even if I rotate x y axis around the about the z axis nothing will change by symmetry I can say that yeah this option is also correct now C option says that B is non-zero at all points for R less than R that means we are talking about the interior region of the smaller loop now my argument is this at center we know that the field is inwards now but if I move to a point which is very very close to this loop which is very very close to this loop and the loop is carrying anti-clockwise current okay so the element create situated nearest to this point will create a very large value of magnetic field here okay and I2 may not be able to the magnetic field due to I2 may not be able to balance it okay so at this point I'm expecting the field to be outward here the field was inward so somewhere in between the field have must have changed its direction okay so based on that we can say that uh, uh, bx will become zero at some points in this region so c option is incorrect and d option says that b points normally outward from the xy plane for all points between the loop now uh, if i'm thinking about points which lie between the loop the contribution from the outer sphere would be into the screen and the contribution from i1 would also be into the screen so they are not going to cancel each other rather they are going to reinforce each other so d option is also incorrect so the correct answer to question six is option a and option b i hope you like the solution i hope you enjoyed the solution i'll come with the next video and the next question take care students Bye bye